Okay. So, uh, good day to everyone. So, we're going to discuss your midterm. So, napagkasunduan namin with the other two building tech one instructors that to give you a midterm plate or midterm uh, requirement instead of having a typical quiz na ginagawa natin face to face because we believe na mas makakapag produce tayo ng tamang assessment uh, with uh, what we have uh, learned from the start hanggang midterm so uh, ano ba yung ipapagawa namin sa inyo so you uh, this is uh, the application of the building materials discussed on a two-story residential. So, ano yung uh, mga requirements natin? So, ano yung gagawin ba? So, you would, don't worry, it's not an individual requirement. This is a group work. So, you will be group, and uh, each group must submit a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, kamukha nito, yung pinaflash ko sa screen. Each group must submit a video report presentation. So, parang ganito rin, gagawa kayo ng parang uh, lecture explaining your work, your application. And then, uh, you must uh, submit your drawing na kung saan nilalaman din siya ng PowerPoint. So, the drawing output showing how they use the different materials. So, ano ba yung, uh, on a two, ano ba yung scope natin? So, on a two-story two residential, students must discuss the following or must apply the following. So, una, you need to have uh, site preparation. So, to be given by the group, saan nyo ba locate or what type of site preparation you will do for this two-story residential. So, by the way, I'm going to give you the floor plan and then kayo ng bahala. It's going to give you a floor plan. Tapos yung site, uh, you can imagine, you can you can locate it in a uh, near the beach, uh, malap dating field or mountain. So then with that situation, with that type of location, what type of site preparation will you do? So you're just going to enumerate it at in the in the start of your your report uh, on your slides. And then, i-discuss na natin itong mga building materials natin. Your concrete, metal, and wood. So, yung wood, uh, ipopost ko pa lang yung PDF natin. And promise, I will make a video lecture for metal and wood. Uh, medyo na-delay lang. So, the group must discuss, uh, for the concrete, metal, and wood, the group must discuss where to apply and reply these materials sa buong bahay and why. And describe nyo kung bakit siya ilalagay. And what property of the material is good for its application. So, kanyari, si concrete, saan nyo siya ilalagay sa bahay? Hindi pwedeng pure, yung buong two-story natin, pure concrete lang siya, ha? It must be combination of concrete, metal, and wood. So, dapat nakikita, makikita natin yan and uh, sa inyo kung saan nyo siya i-apply. At bakit nyo siya i-apply doon? And again, uh, anong property ng material na yon, ni concrete, ng metal, ng good, ang maganda sa pagkakalagay niyo sa application and, or magiging ang lalabas for that application. So, for example, if you're going to use wood, are you going to use it for framing? Tapos, saan nyo siya ilal, uh, yun yung location nyo kanyari, uh, for the floor framing. And then, bakit, bakit nyo siya inilagay doon? And then, just describe anong property ni wood Ang, ang, ang good for that uh, application. So, ano yung content natin nung ating ipapasa? So, you will submit your PowerPoint. So, the content of your video report, ito yung mismong slides na mag-guide sa inyo. Yung video, all student must be part of the report. This will be uh, an individual score for you. So, kailangan maging, mag, uh, maging part kayo ng mismong report. Uh, you can do um, ganito, a video, tapos pagsasama-samahin nyo lang. I, there's uh, applications naman na mapagsasama-sama siya. Kung medyo hindi kay techie, um, maybe you can research kung paano. And then, um, pwede rin siyang kung, hindi, kung ayaw nyo ng ganitong type na may PowerPoint and video and you want like blog type na may mga uh, lumalabas sa basa screen or Kung hindi talaga kaya mag-video, voiceover lang, okay lang din. As long as part kayo nung report. 
So that would still be an individual grade. Later on, I will discuss the rubrics. So ito yung drawing materials requirements na hinahanap namin. So we're going to provide the floor plan. I'm going to provide the floor plan and then have a call out ng materials. So it's either an isometric section kamuha nito or yung base section. I'll minimize myself. Yan. Kamuha nito with call outs and complete details. So kung ganito ang gagawin nyo, Again, i-locate nyo lang kung saan si wood and then anong, anong type of wood siya syempre. Or kunyari si concrete, kunyari ang column nyo is concrete or ang steel, ang, ang, ang column nyo ay steel, anong klaseng steel ang gagamitin nyo sa kanya or metal. So just ha have that. Um, nasa sa inyo kung paano siya ipipresent. You can have both. Pwedeng more than one drawing. So... Ang basta provided ko lang is floor plan and you must present it to me ng malinaw. Um, think of me as your client na hindi architect. I'm a, cli I'm a simple client na kailangan ko maintindihan yung mga materials na ilalagay nyo doon sa bahay ko. So, hindi pa tayo finishing nito. Ah. Doon pa lang tayo sa, ano, ah, sa concrete, kay metal, and kay wood. So, ito yung magiging rubrics ng group. So, 40% would be sa content. So, completeness ng use ng building materials at saka ng application niya. 25% will go to the organization. How you derive the concepts to show their relationship to, to the structure. And then, 35% yung PowerPoint clarity and video presentation. So, you uh, must use uh, clear use of clear graphics and a uh, clear explanation of what you want to express or your application dun sa, dun sa structure. And then, uh, for the midterm grade computation, ito yung sabi ko, you have 10, uh, 90% yung group work, yung kaninang makukompute natin, yung sa pinahita ko, and then 10% would be for the individual report. So, uh, individual, kung ano yung pinaka- uh, mapipresent din yung be automatically 10%. So, kunyari, uh, medyo talagang, this is just to make sure, kasi mitong hirap sa groupings, at, ay, naku, ang sakit sa ulo sa groupings sa amin, misan may nag-aaway, may ganyan. Just to make sure that everyone would participate, we would add, I would add 10% for the individual report. Para lang siguradong tutulong ang lahat, or magkakaroon sila ng part. So, kaya nang deadline natin. So, since ang, ano natin is until November 4. So, hanggang November 11 yung deadline natin. And then, um, I would like to remind you, nasa sa inyo kung gagawin nyo siya for your free time. We have a mid, uh, mid-semestral academic break from October 29 to November 3. So, nasa sa inyo kung gagamitin nyo siya. Or, uh, hindi ko kayo pinipilit na gawin nyo siya ng time na yan, ha? Uh, nasa sa inyo if you would use it or we would have a, have a break. So, o sa inyo have at least one or two days break muna sa paggawa ng plates and uh, refresh yourselves uh, bago tayo sumabak sa midterms. At alam ko marami na rin kayong requirements sa kailangan gawin at reviewin. Kaya that's why we, we wanted this to be a group work so that uh, this is done in the mid uh, individually, baka marami ng, baka masyadong mahirap para sa inyo. Tambak na kayo ng workload. So, let's lighten it up and add, make it a teamwork. Kasi naman sa architecture, no man is an island. Sa architecture, you would really collaborate with uh, co-architects, co-designers, interior designers, landscape architects, with the different engineers. So, ngayon pa lang, let's practice that. So, Paano yung groupings natin? Sa Google Classroom natin, we have 50, I have 53 students. Uh, sa pagkakumpit ko, 9 groups would be 5 members, composed of 5 members. And then, magto 2 groups tayo na 4 members lang sila. So, paano to? You, uh, we have a group chat sa Messenger. You can submit your um, your list doon. So, that must, uh, ma-check ko kung sino yung walang ka-group and we can add it doon sa group na yun. So, good luck. Uh, and uh, I hope 
you enjoy and you apply this. Uh, apply what you've learned dun sa ating building materials. Kasi since this is what you're going to do on the near future. So, if you have questions, you can uh, send it dun sa group chat natin so that makita rin ng mga kaklase nyo. Kamukha nung madalas natin gawin. Pag may questions, dun lagi sa group chat. Para hindi na pa ulit-ulit yung questions. Okay. So, thank you and have a nice mid-break.